Everything that I've been shown so far in the world of AI, they're instructed by text. The difference with this is that it's seeing, it's tasting, it's feeling its environment. And that is what blows my mind. What happens when the masters of robotics team up with the brains behind artificial intelligence? Well, get ready for a game changer. Figure AI and OpenAI have combined their expertise to create something truly revolutionary. This collaboration is about to shake up the world of AI and robotics in ways we've never seen before. Let's talk about something incredible, the combination of metal and neural networks. This is a big deal. If you're chatting with Figure 1, they can describe their surroundings in great detail. They can point out specific things like a red apple or a rack of cups, making it clear to you. Then, without any issues, they smoothly start doing what you asked for, as if it's no problem at all. But here's the exciting part. They can explain their thoughts as they go, like it's the most natural thing. It's like seeing magic happen, but with the latest technology. OpenAI's models are super smart with visuals and language, while Figure's neural networks are lightning fast at controlling robots precisely. It's like having the best of both worlds. Let's be honest for a moment. In the past, people were skeptical about everything. Someone would claim something was amazing, but then it turned out to be a disappointment. But now, it's like, come on guys, isn't it obvious? If you've been following these new discoveries, you know they're legit. Take Google DeepMind's RT2 robot, for example. They explain it all. There's the vision language action model, kind of like a super smart model that can see and act on what it sees. There are no tricks or illusions here. It's the real deal and it's impressing everyone. It seems like Figure AI is leading the pack, but they're not alone. There's some tough competition among general robots. People have thrown around the term AGI robots pretty casually these days, just to show off how versatile they are. Now, don't get us wrong. Those Boston Dynamics robots, they're seriously impressive. But here's the thing. While their movements might look amazing, they're just following a preset routine, like clockwork. Now let's keep things going. We're talking images from the robot's camera and converting spoken words from its built-in microphones into a huge database. But here's the interesting part. They're keeping it a secret whether it's GPT-4 model or something else entirely. Maybe they'll spill the beans later on, but who knows? Oh, and speaking of secrets, there was a mystery tweet floating around hinting at a robot heading to a famous AI lab. Could it be connected to this? Only time will tell. In the meantime, we're busy collecting data from the robot's cameras and listening to what it says through its microphone, slowly uncovering the mystery behind this super advanced technology. Let's simplify this. OpenAI has a cool tool called Whisper, which can turn spoken words into text, and it's available for anyone to use. It's like a really smart computer program that can understand what people are saying. Now, imagine combining Whisper with Figure AI, the robot expert, adding some smart technology that can understand both pictures and text. It's like putting all the pieces of a puzzle together to create a super smart robot. This is a big step towards creating something called AGI, which stands for Artificial General Intelligence. It's like a robot that can walk around, learn new things, and talk to people like a pro. We're getting closer to that futuristic dream. Now, let's talk about how this works. The same technology that understands pictures also helps the robot talk back to people. And here's the cool part. It's also in charge of deciding what actions the robot should take based on what it hears. This involves using special computer chips called GPUs and following a set of rules. This is different from how Google DeepMind does it, where actions are represented as words in a computer program's output. It's like describing actions as words that a computer can understand. If you want to know more about GPUs, just leave a comment with the word GPU and we'll explain it further. What does all this mean? Well, it seems like the robot has a set of actions it already knows how to do, like picking things up. This is different from how the RT2 robot works. If someone asks for help, like pouring liquids into a container or pressing a button, then the GPT model from OpenAI jumps in and decides what to do, and voila, it gets done. We're not totally sure if that's exactly how it works, but we'll find out soon enough, hopefully. Now, let's dig a little deeper. First, we use speech to text when someone asks for something. This info goes into OpenAI model for some smart thinking. Next, we talk about behavior selection, where the robot has preset plans for quick movements. These plans help the robot stay balanced while grabbing things, but there's more. While this is happening, the robot's eyes are also in action, sending info back to the OpenAI model and present plans. Now, when a command comes in, the robot quickly says, sure, and then gets to work. But it seems like it can do multiple things at once. It can even give updates on what it's doing while it works. 
And here's why it's a big deal. When you combine figure one, experts in making metal robots with OpenAI, who are masters of neural networks, you get a robot that can describe what it sees, make smart decisions, and even understand vague requests like, I'm hungry, and hand over an apple. Remember the big test with RT2 or RTX series? You could say, I'm tired, and it would know what to do. Now, let's take another scenario. If someone offers you a Red Bull and asks, would you like a Red Bull? It's like they know what we like, right? The robot, on the other hand, explains why it did something. It does it in simple words. For example, it might say, it was the only thing I could give you from the table. So this one is clearly a big, well-trained model that remembers past conversations. What more gives figure one a boost? Let's say someone asks, can you put them there? Now, what are them and what's there? To answer correctly, you need to remember what was said earlier, with help from a model that remembers what was said and seen before. Then figure one gets to work, making and following a plan pretty perfectly. Now, let's go back a bit. When GPT-4 Vision first showed up, there was a test to see how well it understood what we're pointing at. These models are experts at understanding what we're pointing at. No need for fancy stuff, just a simple arrow or gesture and they know what to do. We initially wondered if there were other clues besides words, but it seems like they get it from the situation. But here's what we think. In the future, we'll be pointing a lot more. Pointing at something and giving a command. That's the easiest way to say what needs to be done. Now, let's get into the details of how the robots learn to move its hands and fingers. We're talking about fancy technology here, with neural networks making decisions based on what they see, like 10 times a second. These decisions, like how to move the wrists or fingers, are the building blocks for how the whole body moves, happening really fast, like 200 times a second. We will break it down for you. First, we have smart computer programs on the internet that can understand what they see and read and come up with a plan. Then we have special rules that tell the robot how to move its hands and fingers to carry out the plans really fast. And to top it off, there's another set of rules that keep the robot balanced and steady, so it doesn't fall over. It's amazing to think that not long ago, talking to a robot that does all this would have been like something out of a movie. But here we are, living in the future. Let's talk about what's coming next. Things we once thought were far off in the future are now just around the corner. It's amazing how fast we're changing. In my opinion, Figure is leading the way in making robots that can think and act like humans. That's why they're hiring a lot of new people. Now, to be honest, some people weren't impressed with their demonstration, especially because the tasks, like making coffee, seem too simple. But the coffee maker they used is supposed to be easy to use. Still, even though some people had doubts, it's a step in the right direction. So looking back, the demonstration might have seemed a bit odd, but now things are starting to make more sense and it's getting more exciting every day. So, are you as excited as we are? Do let us know in the comments section and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, see you later.